y'all need to be careful who y'all are following. And when we talk about influencers, be cautious of who you're being influenced by because this man, like even guys, I don't say all guys, you know, might might have saw through the lines or whatever and saw that he was like a nasty man or whatever. But even if you really see and understand what he's saying, clearly this man is aligning and does things that are inappropriate and you need to condemn what he's doing and what he's done to women. And the fact that men that follow him don't speak out about it is why women have such a disgust with men who think like that because you can't even denounce a man who harms women, but you want women to cater to you. It's all a contradiction. For me, I don't understand that thinking because I grew up with a mother and two sisters and a niece like I grew up with women as equals and never like over having to like I don't know I don't know what it be I understand your point I understand your yeah point. So I, I, don't know. I, I mean I don't get how dudes think like that honestly that's that was the whole point I was trying to make though it's also a thing of like this is a thing of what happens where if you know if you're looking for that content and you search that content and you find that content, that's kind of the bad thing about these algorithms. Knowing us so much is that they lead us directly to the bullshit or they lead us that, yeah. Exactly that. So that's the problem is that like, if you watch, I'm sure if you watch one Kevin Samuels video or if you've consistently watched it, your Instagram and your this is only going to feed you the stuff that it knows that you're going to like, which is not actively like kind of steering you back to like, this shit is crazy. Like, no, this is not like a healthy, realistic way to view the world or view relationships or view partnerships with anyone of any sex it doesn't even matter even friendships like 